section of the Alex statistic, the red slice. This is normal versus standard normal density curves. And so let's see what they give us here. It says below is a graph of a normal distribution with a mean. And then they tell us that mu is negative 3 and a standard deviation sigma of 3. Now the shaded region represents the probability of obtaining a value from this distribution that is greater than negative 4.5. So we look down here and we see that negative 4.5 is here that they're talking about and then of course we're interested in this area or this probability that is to the right of that greater than negative 4.5. So they're interested in all of this area here and basically that is what we're trying to find. Now notice what they want us to do then is to shade the corresponding region under the standard normal density curve which is down here. Now remember in your standard density or standard normal curve the zero is here in the middle and then we mark off by ones. So we say here that the mean is zero, the standard deviation is one. And what we really are going to do in this case is simply convert these values, these normal values here into standard normal values. Let's look over here at uh, my notes on this. Now once again what I have here is the standard normal distribution and these numbers we typically call z-scores. Okay, In like algebra class we have the x-axis and we would have the y-axis. Um, in this context for the standard normal we call these the z-axis and we will have x's because down here under these normal distributions we'll call these x values and in fact uh, these will kind of lump together and call them x scores they are normal scores though but they are not the standard normal so we're going to make that conversion we're going to convert those now notice here that in our story they told us that we have a mean of negative 3, a standard deviation of 3. And I've noted that over here on my uh, form, my kind of worksheet. And by the way, these worksheets are available in Doc Sharing. So if you want some of these, you simply go up there to Doc Sharing, grab those, and print what you need. But what I'm going to do is label this up. Now, of course, we have our standard normal distribution here. These are z-scores, so I'll refer to this as the z-axis. And then directly under here, I will write its equivalent in what we call the normal distribution that we have a mean or a mu of negative 3 which is going to correspond to this middle value right there and our standard deviation is 3 which means that we're going to go by 3's or add 3's as we go across to the right so negative 3 plus 3 would be 0 here and then we add 3 and so we would get 3 and we would add another 3 and we would get 6. Now going in the other direction we will subtract so if we have negative 3 minus 3 we have negative 6 uh, if we subtract 3 we get negative 9 and negative 12 so these are these equivalents. Now notice that what we want let's go back over here and look at our problem is we are interested in this value once again, uh, a value from the distribution that is greater than negative 4.5. So that negative 4.5 is talking about our standard scale, or basically what I call the X score. So let's go over here then and take a look at uh, the negative 4.5, and you can see that that would be somewhere between here and here. So at negative 4.5, we would be somewhere between the negative 3 and the negative 6. Let's just draw that in, and then let's make a note here that this particular x score is a negative 4.5. Now, what it is that we want to do here is to convert this score, this normal distribution score into a standard normal. Now common sense sort of tells us here that we can see that it's somewhere between 0 and negative 1. We can probably guess that and maybe even guess in more detail. But let's use a formula to calculate that conversion. And the way that we do that is we use this formula. 
that z is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma. Now, once again, these normal distribution scores kind of as a group are lumped together and called x scores, but this one here is a particular x score. So that is negative 4.5. We're going to subtract the mean or mu and we said that that mu was negative 3 so we're going to subtract negative 3 and then we're going to divide by sigma. In this case sigma is 3. So that's going to be negative 4.5 minus a minus 3 which would be negative 4.5 plus 3 divided by 3. Now negative 4.5 plus 3 is negative 1.5 divided by 3 and negative 1.5 divided by 3 is negative 0.5. So I can look up here and I can see that where I should have drawn this was exactly halfway between the 0 and the negative 1 at negative 0.5. So what I'm going to want to do is to go back over here to Alex and I want to grab my line tool. I want to plot exactly what I would have had over here on my graph. Let's go back and look at that quickly. Notice that on the z-axis I'm going to be plotting at a negative 0.5. So we will hop over here, go to negative 0.5 and draw that line. Now once again notice up here that the shading goes to the right of that line so we're going to match that and do the same thing. Grab our shading tool, go over to the right click and we should be good. Okay, and that's basically how that works.